As if earlier in the lecture one, we have learned the basics of periodic properties. Okay. Next, we will go into the next step, and what will be involved in this periodic properties? Okay. Periodic properties. Think that this is also some of the basics to be learned before going into the properties. Okay. Now, as if you know earlier that many of the sciences. has been given and they have been classified the elements into different ways like metals and non metals and they have been either classified like uh, solids liquids and gaseous according to the physical state now this all this classifications was not explained in a perfect way okay and they have finally has classified into four blocks what they have classified into four blocks what are those s P D F blocks, right? And S P D F. These are the four blocks. By learning this all four blocks, you can get an idea of what will be involved in the periodic table. Okay. Now, for suppose, for example, you take an element. Uh, think that it is aluminium. Okay. What is the aluminium atomic number? Thirteen, right? What is its electronic configuration? 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 and 3p1 as this is aluminum and its atomic number is 13 electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 and 3s2 3p1 okay this is a last electron right this last electron is being entering into which orbital p orbital right p orbital that means it is a hint that the last electron is being entering into which orbit the element belongs to that block you may think and you may even check whether this aluminum is being belonging into p block or not for suppose you know 22 just 22 is a number and it is the atomic number of a particular element okay This twenty-two element belongs to which block? Now twenty-two. What is its electronic configuration? One s two, two s two, two p six, three s two, three p six, four s two, three d two. Right? Three d two. Now then, twenty-two is its atomic number, and what is the atom? What is the element name? Titanium. Right, titanium. Now, last electron is entering into which orbit here? Which orbital? D orbital. Now, whether this titanium is being belonging into D orbit? Exactly. Titanium will be belonging into D orbital. That means to find out the element, it will be belongs to which block? This is the easiest way to find it out. If you once get the electronic configuration. you can tell that element belongs to which block okay now we will go briefly about what is s block what is been involved in s block and what is d block and what is f block okay as if we have known that there are four blocks involved right now first going to s block elements right s block elements okay in s block elements the first two elements of the each period what first and second element of each period are s block did you get it the first and second element of each period is s block or else you can tell it as one year group elements and two a group elements are s block right as if we have earlier studied one a group elements are known as alkali metals right two a group elements 
आल्कलाइन एथ मेटल्स ओके फॉर बानिय ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स यू आर हैविंग अ जनरल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगरेशन जनरल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगरेशन मींस फॉर ऑल दोस एलिमेंट्स प्रेजेंट इन द बानिय ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स विल बी हैविंग द सेम सिमिलर सिमिलर इज डिफरेंट एंड सेम इज डिफरेंट ओके सिमिलर एंड सेम बोथ आर हैविंग डिफरेंट बानिय ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स इलेक्ट्रॉन जनरल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगरेशन इज 1 1 टू ए ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स जनरल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगरेशन इज एन एस टू ओके एंड जस्ट वी आर आई एम गिविंग यू सम मोर इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट एस ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स दीज एस ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स आर हैविंग लो मेल्टिंग पॉइंट एंड बॉइलिंग पॉइंट इट इज हैविंग लो मेल्टिंग एंड बॉइलिंग पॉइंट एंड दीज आर मेटल्स वन ये ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स एस ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स आर मेटल्स ओके दीज आर soft in nature okay these are soft in nature and its oxidation states or oxidation number is plus 1 and plus 2 plus 1 is for 1a group elements and plus 2 is for 2a group elements did you understand now this is about p block elements now we'll go for sorry we we'll go for p block elements what in p block elements this p block elements has been given has been numbered in two different ways they have numerically given as 13 14 15 16 17 And eighteen. As if if we write this same numerical numbers in the form of Roman numbers, this has given as T A, four A, five A, six A, seven A, and eight A. As if you know that T A group elements are known as boron family, right? It is known as boron family fourth a group elements carbon family fifth a group elements nitrogen family sixth a group elements oxygen family and seventh a group elements halogens eighth a group elements known as inert gases what inert gases now we will see the general electronic configuration for each group elements for third year group elements the general electronic configuration is ns2 and p1 what ns2 and p1 now for fourth year group elements ns2 and p2 now fifth year group ns2 and p3 next ns2 and p4 ns2 np5 for seventh year group elements and finally eighth year group elements ns2 np6 okay now this is the general electronic configuration for each group elements and you are and for p block elements these p block elements consist of metals non metals and either and even metalloids also what i even metalloids also this is about p block elements okay and this s block elements is present in the most left side of the periodic table total left side of the for suppose this is the periodic table okay this is the periodic table left to side this is the left to side of the periodic table this is as elements okay total right side of the periodic table you will be calling it as p block elements right in between in between s and p blocks you will be having d block elements okay we will be now we learn about d block 
block elements okay in d block elements the numerical number is being given from 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 okay and this third numerical number is being written in the form of roman number is 3b 4b 5b 6b 7b and this 8 9 and 10 is being written as third eighth b group elements and this 11th is 1b and 2b okay now d block elements general electronic configuration is n minus 1 d 1 2 10 n s 1 or 2 what n minus 1 d 1 to 10 n s 1 or 2 okay this is about d block elements where this d block elements are present in between s and p block d block elements are present right now we'll go for f block elements where this f block elements are present the complete down of the periodic table f block elements are present okay complete the bottom of the periodic table f block elements are present right where this f block elements has come from this f block elements has been come from remember sixth period what sixth period and third b group elements where sixth period for suppose 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 this is the sixth period sixth period third b group elements from here the f block that is 4f series has got where you have got this sixth period and third b group elements and next 5f series 5f series has got from seventh period and third b group elements then seventh period third b group elements understood this is about f block elements now how we are writing this general electronic configuration i will just give you an example for p block elements okay i just give you an example for p block elements now take third b fourth b and fifth b what i have told third b general electronic configuration ns2 np1 fourth group ns2 np2 fifth group ns2 np3 this n might be 1 2 3 4 and so on okay this n might be 1 2 3 4 and so on now in third group elements we will take an example of boron and aluminum okay boron and aluminum next for fourth group carbon and silicon and fifth group nitrogen and phosphorus right how we are finding out the general electronic configuration we will see from this okay boron what is the atomic number 5 aluminum 13 right 5 what is the electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p1 right aluminum 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p1 right now see carefully here n i have told you earlier that n might be 1 2 3 and so on yes right here n s2 n p1 is in the form of n s2 n p1 here is also is it in the form of n s2 n p1 that means we can write the general electronic configuration for third b group element as n s2 n p1 now we will see from this carbon 6 silicon 14 1s2 2s2 2p2 right same way 1s2 
2s2 2p6 3s2 3p2 right here is also in the form of ns2 np2 is it getting the same way here is also is we getting the form of ns2 np2 now did you get it the 17 15 1s2 2s2 2p3 here also 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 pp3 now is it is also showing the general electronic configuration here right did you get this how we are writing the general electronic configuration for each element each group in the periodic table right now this is the brief explanation of sp gf blocks which are present in this periodic properties if we start learning this basics you can easily go into the properties and you can easily understand what is happening in each property the each properties and next the periodic properties we will be learning in the next lecture okay i hope everybody has understood this concept okay thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to the online patashala